What did you learn about yourself during the making of this film? A uh, pretty fast runner. <laughs> That's good. You get to talk about your projects in the city that you call home. That's a pretty neat setup. Yeah, I've been here living about five years. I'm a transplant, but I've, I've grown to love Austin and I plan on staying here. Give us your transplant perspective. What does well, Austin feel like? To me, it has everything that you want out of the big sort of modern cities, but then also has that cool, small hometown vibe. I've lived a lot of different places, but when I go away to work somewhere, I do truly feel like I'm coming home when I when I land at that airport and start heading to my house. I love to hear that. Yeah. Your work is actually what brought you here. Yeah, I started to work on this TV show called From Dust Till Dawn. That was with Robert Rodriguez and we started shooting here in 2013 and started to vibe with the city and really just fell in love with it and decided to stay. And the rest is <laughs> Yeah, so here we are say. five years later and I haven't left. It was amazing, just the, the whole process of Getting that job was so smooth. A lot of times when you get cast in a show, you have to get approved by like a panel of people or a panel of executives. But with this, it was just Robert mm -hmm. saying, here's the part. Like, you know, I met him a couple of times and he felt I was the guy to, to play Richie. A couple weeks later, I was here. I don't know, I was walking to a UT game within an hour of being in town. It was a blessing and I had a great time playing that part and kind of growing with the character over those three seasons. I love that you were a Longhorn from the beginning. Well, I didn't know, I literally showed up here by myself and just started walking and then I saw like a sea of orange walking towards the stadium <laughs> and I didn't even have a ticket. I walked up to the box office and luckily I got there right on time and there was space available. So that was my first, my first Longhorn experience. It was kind of just happened organically and I just was, you know, following the crowd. Let's talk about your films out right now. There's a couple to discuss. It's an exciting time in your life. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. You know, it's funny is I shot both of these films kind of back to back and you never know how long it's going to take for a film to finish, but they just happen to both kind of be launching the same week. Hunter Killer comes out in theaters and then we're actually debuting Beyond the Night at the Austin Film Festival. Do you think that a man's demons can be passed down to his son? We've all done things, Raymond. I think that some men have done things so that others don't have to. To have this movie that we shot in upstate New York playing here in the city that I now live in is just kind of a very cool, unique experience. Well, what about Hunter Killer? It was pretty intense. Again, a little dust till dawn. Jesse Garcia, my co-star, put me on tape for that thing. I got the job off an audition tape that we shot at a prison, a set that we were working at. Uh, I met Donovan, the director, for the first time on Skype. Our first in-person meeting, I was already on set and we were making the movie. Torpedoes in the water. Battle stations. Ship ready. Solution ready. Weapon ready. The character's name is Paul Martinelli. He's a Navy SEAL. He happens to be the youngest of this sort of four-man Navy SEAL team. One of the things that's a little bit unspoken in the film is that I'm I'm a replacement for one of their team members that they lost on a previous mission. Yeah. So the three others are kind of making me really hustle to prove that I deserve to be there. That I kind of screw up a couple of times, but luckily towards the end of the film I can prove my Make worth. Make it all right. How do you prepare to play a Navy SEAL? I read Lone Survivor. Obviously that's not gonna make us SEALs, but just to understand the kind of commitment that somebody has to have, how much respect that those parts deserve. Even though we're not, we're playing fictional characters, we're still representing a real group of people. So we all thought it was important to try and do do it justice. It sounds like you shot around the world. Yeah, the film is shot everywhere. They shot a lot of the exterior submarine stuff in Hawaii out of Pearl Harbor. The like war room that you'll see Gary Oldman and Common and Linda Cardellini in, that's all in the UK. But the bulk of our work was in Bulgaria. I didn't know what to expect going in and Jerry had spent a lot of time there. He'd made a couple of films out there so he knew the city better. We started renting bicycles and kind of seeing the You're city. Riding tandem out there? <laughs> <laughs> Just, just singles. <laughs> we kind of saw the city by bike and that gave me a different appreciation. And I ended up loving Bulgaria and I'd, I'd go back and shoot something there. Oh, what about the set? 
submarine aspect? Did you spend a lot of time in submarines? No, luckily I didn't have to. You got three storylines going on. You've got the, the team back in the States who are kind of running things from the war room. And you've got Jerry and the submarine crew on the sub. But then the SEALs that are on the, on, on the ground, we're in the, the Middle East, and we get called in to, to skydive into Russia to do some uh, reconnaissance and see what's going on with the, the Russian president. Casual. And, yeah. <laughs> so we're, we're on the ground and sneaking around a, a Russian naval base, and from there it escalates Aren't you without giving to away it, too much. I yeah. know, it's such a good tease. Yeah. You know, with any part of life and different projects, we always tend to learn a bit about ourselves. Mm -hmm. What did you learn about yourself during the making of this film? A uh, pretty fast runner. <laughs> That's good. What's your mile time? Because um, I'm working a strong, like, 12-ish minutes. Oh, pretty, so... Swift. Yeah, marathon qualifying kind pretty of much. stuff. Just one mile? I'd be under low seven. How fast are we tired? Oh, that's good. I think that's so. Good. I feel like some people would be surprised to know you are not only a dad, but you are a father of four. Correct. And you are a full-time actor. You've got two movies mm -hmm. going on right now. How do you balance all that? Uh, my wife is awesome. I was honestly, yeah. <laughs> I was like, the answer to this question I already know is my wife. Yeah, she yeah. She must be awesome. And what's bringing you joy in general in life right now? I love jujitsu. Really? Yeah, I've been doing <laughs> jujitsu for 15 years. That's like, that's my side passion. You got any moves? I, I'm not, I don't want to reveal too much yeah. because it's best to keep that kind of stuff, you know, just in case I ever need to break it out. Cheers to you, Sam. Thanks for hanging with us. Thank I really you. appreciate it. Yeah, it was fun. It.